Hi everybody, it's me, Carol, with Refunction Crafts, and I have a really cool tutor tutorial that I'm going to do for you guys today um, using these. And so before I get started on that, I'm going to show you guys, I did finish my uh, clear resin butterflies, and I've got them all packaged and listed in my shop now. But I just wanted to show you a couple of them, and this is kind of hard to see because the background is so dark, and I'm not going to pull these off. But here's one of them that I completed. And what I did was this group of butterflies, I actually embellished them and got them looking really gorgeous. So that's one of them. This is one of the medium-sized ones. And I'll show you a couple of the other ones. But these are all embellished, you guys. I actually, the first time I did these, I didn't embellish them. I just sold the butterflies um, with the ball chain on them so that you guys could embellish them yourselves. But these, I decided to go ahead and, and sell them as completed butterflies. And they really are absolutely gorgeous. This is one that I completed and this one's got you know blues and pinks and stuff but this is a large butterfly so there's uh, three different sizes there's the large medium and small and I've got some other ones I'm gonna give something away here by doing this but these are the the original butterflies that I was using to make these and this is the large one let me just grab three of them. This is the large, medium, and small. So these are the three sizes of the clear butterflies that I have. I'm actually going to be doing these white ones um, separately as a different uh, style of butterfly. They're not going to get resined. So um, just so that you know, because I cannot resin those butterflies. Um, and that's what created my mistake that made me create these clear butterflies. Now these clear ones that I'm showing you now are actually um, quite thick uh, with resin. They're much thicker and heavier than uh, these paper butterflies that I do um, because there are several layers of resin on them. And I've used quite a bit of resin to do each one of these butterflies. This one is mostly in blue and pink, but you can see the butterfly, whoops, and how gorgeous it is. Um, I really don't want to take all of these out of the packaging, so I will show you the next couple um, just inside the package. Here's one that's in blues and pinks. Very beautiful, and I hope you guys like my little backings. I love this one, this print that I chose to put these on. It actually displays the butterflies so beautifully. This is my favorite one. I think this one might already be sold. I'm not sure. No, I think somebody's got this in their cart. I think that's what it is. But this one is absolutely stunning, you guys. Um, so beautiful and so is this one this is a red one that i did and look at how gorgeous that turned out and so these are a bit more expensive you guys i hope you understand but it, it took a, a lot of resin and uh, the embellishments and everything else that went into these and i spent hours upon hours on these um, embellishing them this one I didn't spend as much time embellishing but look at I just I added this piece of bling in the center and after I did that I looked at it and I thought you know what this one just does not need anything else I would be doing it a disservice by adding a whole bunch of other stuff to it so I just left this one with the piece of bling in the middle and it's gorgeous look at that it is absolutely gorgeous this one I have to say this one and then this and these are these three are the large butterflies these my three favorites um, these are my three favorite ones that I have made so far they are all absolutely stunning so I just wanted to show you guys um, the finished butterflies that I've had 
And then um, also, I wanted to ask you guys, and if you could comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. This was the uh, gecko that I made. And actually, this one is spoken for. Um, this is going to a friend of mine. Uh, but I do have another friend that has requested that I make more of these. But I wanted to ask you guys what you think. Because this, again, is just a print of a gecko that I found. Let me show you. And um, what I did was I printed mirror images so that I've got them going in opposite directions. And then I, when I glue them together, I, I just take them and do them like that. And so that they are on the, the back and the front is the way that I made the geckos. But this is the image that I use. And so I am going to make some more of these, but I wanted your opinions on what you guys thought of those. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I love the way this turned out. And um, my friend Deanna is going to be receiving this one um, <clears throat> because she's already, she's already requested it. So that's hers. And um, Diane, I'm going to make more. So <laughs> um, the other request came from my friend Diane. And so I will be at, making at least one more, probably about, I think I'm going to make like four of them. So anyway, um, so I've got those and I got more of my, just my, my butterflies that I made um, that are in my shop. Now I did already sell quite a few of the packages of these butterflies, just the plain butterflies, not with this in the middle. Um, so I made a bunch, I put them in my shop and I sold a bunch already, but there is still some in my store. They're all double butterflies. Um, none of them have the glitter glass on them, but um, they are gorgeous, you guys. They came out absolutely stunning. So, um, but I think I sold all of the ones that were like this and I am in the process of making more, just so that you guys know if, if you're looking for specific ones, I'm making more if they're not in my shop. So just know that there's more coming. Um, and then these that we're gonna make today, I wanna show you guys too. Look at the paper that I've got these on. This paper, I wanted to put them on this because it was a dark background because I wanted you guys to be able to see the butterflies. This is paper that I bought in this huge package of, it's a variety of papers. Now, I won't say that I absolutely love everything that's in here, but I got several sheets in each package of this paper. One, two, three, four, five. I got six, seven sheets of this paper, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And it is, um, it is, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of it right now, but it's, it's, um, like stamped. And so it's, um, it's bumpy, but isn't that gorgeous, you guys? So I got that in there and I'll show you a couple of the other ones that I really love. Some of them are just plain papers like this. Still great paper to use in projects. I got some of this purple and then there's, and I'm going to pull out the other package too, because I think the other package had more of this one, but look at how gorgeous that copper is. Super pretty. Um, and then, uh, let's see what else. There's some of this mustardy stuff that has a, that's, um, bumpy too. And I can't think of the words, you guys. And, uh, embossed, embossed. I think that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, and then here's kind of a, a a little less shimmery kind of yellowish gold color. And then here's one. This almost kind of looks like, um, almost looks like leather, but it's it's also got a, a embossed, um, feel to it. And look at it, it's got little sparkles just here and there in it. This is a gorgeous piece of paper. But I only got one of these in this package, which is kind of a bummer. And I don't know if I got any in my other one. Then I got some gold. 
But what I did was I went ahead and since this is so huge, look at all of that. There's so much paper in here. I went ahead and I bought two packages and they're different, but in both of these packages, I went through the packages to see because I wanted mostly this. Um, so I went through all the packages they had to see which ones had more of this paper and I grabbed those and then whatever else is in there. But this one actually also has more of the copper paper. It's got several sheets, like six or seven sheets of the copper in this one. So I was excited about that. I had to tell you guys and just so that you know, I got these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, you guys. This paper is so great to work with and a lot of it is that just that like that mulberry paper um and it's really nice for making flowers or using for tags or whatever because you can just tear it real easily and it gets really cool torn edges and all of that good stuff so i wanted to show you guys a dollar 25 those you can't beat that that is an excellent price for um for those papers. So I just had to share that with you guys. Um, so let me read my quote for the day. My quote for the day is, when you see something beautiful in someone, tell them. And I think that's a really great quote because um, how great does it feel when you're out and about, and maybe you're having kind of a bad day, and someone comes up to you and looks at you and just says and i've had this happen to me and let me tell you it totally turned my day around where someone has said wow you really have an upbeat personality because even though i'm in a sad mood or i'm having a bad day i generally will smile at everyone i will say hello to everyone that i pass i'm just that's the way i am i try to hide my my sadness <laughs> um but anyway when someone says something like that to you, it just kind of makes your day, it turns your day around. I know it has for me, and I try to do that as often as I can. When I see somebody that I feel kind of looks like they're having a bad day, I will always say, oh, you look so beautiful today, or something, and they usually do. And you know what? They smile, and they say thank you, and they, I think, it turns their day around. So anyway, yeah, that's a really great thing. When you see somebody, um, what did it say again exactly? When you see something beautiful in someone, tell them. So, yeah, I think that's a cool quote and a cool way to um, make someone's day. So, anyway, all right, so what I have here is I have a couple of my paper butterflies, and you can see I have a small and a large in each of these. And these little fairies, I actually cut out of one of these butterflies. And the reason I cut it out, I'm keeping a couple of these like this too. But the reason I cut it out was I wanted, I wanted it on a different butterfly. I, this butterfly is kind of muted and not real vibrant and so I wanted to do something different and I absolutely love this blue butterfly and I thought this one would be pretty with this as well so I chose these two and I cut them out to do this. Um, so I'm going to set these aside for just a second. We're going to take our pad here for resining and here's our UV lamp. I've got some ink here because we're going to go ahead and we're going to ink these butterflies and I think I might even ink the fairies on the edges just very slightly because I don't like the white edges that you get when you cut the butterflies and stuff so I want to darken the edges all the way around. So that's what we're going to do with this. And you don't have to be too heavy handed with this. Just the edges will do. Sometimes I like to take these tips and put a little bit extra right there just because I think it looks good on the tips. Kind of gives the butterflies almost like a burnt 
look. So there's that one. And you can see the difference. It just kind of it, it deepens the color. So that's what that looks like with the ink on it. And then here's the one that does not have the ink. I mean, you guys may not be able to tell much of a difference, but I can. Um, so I just think it really, really makes it look cool. So, of course, I'm one that likes a vintage-y look. So, so on this bigger one, I'm actually putting a little bit more ink than I did on the little one. I may even go back and put a little more on the little one too because I'm really liking the way this ink looks on this butterfly. Kind of a vintage -y butterfly to begin with and so that ink just solidifies that look. Yeah, I really like that. So you can see the difference, I think between those two I put a little more ink on this one and it really looks very vintagey very pretty I'm gonna add just a touch more on this one just around a couple of spots just about like that I think that's perfect so that one's ready going to do the same thing with our blue butterfly. And just getting the edges. Getting it where the little leaves are from the flowers on this it kind of gives those leaves that almost burnt look. I'm not too worried about this center piece where the body is because the fairy is going to be covering that up. So we're not too worried about that. We don't need to bother with trying to get into the corners and stuff and being perfect. Mostly just around the total outside of the butterfly wings themselves. And you can definitely see a difference between these two. So this is the bigger one here that I'm doing now. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get into the little corners and stuff. Don't worry too much about that. You know, just get where, where you can get without because sometimes if you try too hard to get into all of these little corners and crevices you can end up putting too much ink uh, over the top of the, the image and then it, it just doesn't look good so just put as much as you want and if you like more ink then that's great you know if you like the darker um, inking around you know everywhere and including your little crevices and stuff then go ahead and sometimes you can just fold it over and get that corner that you're trying to reach okay so there's that one looking beautiful so, and I think, I hope I don't regret doing this, but I'm going to do the same thing to our lady because I think it will give her some definition. And I think she really needs that. So, we are going in. And I'm just trying to get the very edges of her with the ink. But this is just helping to define her the outline of her body. Now, the arms and the hands are going to be kind of hard because they're very thin and delicate. <laughs> so I have to be very careful with those because I could easily break them off. But this is giving just a nice little definition to her, her outline. 
need a little bit on this edge, a little bit more. So there's one. Let's get our other fairy here. I think these are going to be really pretty, you guys. I just got the idea because I had seen the butterfly with her on it, and I thought, you know, I really want to do that, and I was really going to do it with her on the original butterfly, but then as I was taking my other butterflies out and working on cutting them out, I thought, oh my gosh, she would be so pretty on a couple of these other butterflies, and I thought, well, let me see if I can even cut her out, because I knew she was very small um, and narrow and all of that. So I wasn't sure if I could even make it happen. But I was just really careful when I was cutting her out. And then I held her up against a couple of these other butterflies. And I thought, oh my gosh, she just looks so beautiful. So I decided to go for it. So, okay, so we've got that one done now. Enough of the ink. So I'm just going to put that aside. And we've got one for that, and we've got one for that, and we're going to move this aside so I don't ruin that with resin. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've got a couple of gloves here. I'm going to put those on because I'm going to try not to get resin all over me this time. Okay. And this one on. This one I've used before, but I think it's okay. As long as it doesn't have any holes in it, I'm good with that. So, I just like to get these on really good and tight. Okay. And I have a new bottle of resin here. And so this is the resin that we use. It's called Let's Resin, UV Resin. And this is low viscosity, and um, this is what I buy on Amazon. I will put a link to this resin for you guys so that you can purchase it if yourself if you're so inclined. And this is our UV lamp, and if you buy the initial kit of the resin, you get the UV lamp, and you get um, some little vials so that you can drip little bits of resin. You get uh, the tips you get some of the thinner tips and it's really a great kit for starting and you get two bottles of the resin so that those two bottles if you're not doing a ton of resin work are gonna last you a long time so you guys will love this stuff it's so fun to work with the only thing I would suggest if you have any kind of respiratory problems don't don't work with resin because it's probably not good for you um, to work with it in this in this state. Um, once it's cured and everything's put together, you're fine. But working with it, um, you know, if you have any kind of respiratory issues, uh, I just don't think it's the greatest thing to do. So just be careful. And if you do and you have, you know, little issues or whatever, just make sure that when you work with it, you use a mask. You know, put... Um, a mask over your face and uh, you should be okay because you're not breathing in you know the chemicals and stuff so what I'm doing here is I'm resining the wings I'm not resining the body at this point I'm just doing the wings because that is how I prevent it from curling up too much and getting too much of a twist in in it so that it, it doesn't sit right. So I'm just making sure I've got resin over the entire thing. So I'm going to look at it under my light, make sure. Okay, and I'm going to put it under my light here. And so the one that I just did is the, um, the small wing. And now I'm going to resin the big one. And what I should do, because once I put this blue light on, it makes it hard to see what else I'm doing. So I need to get above it here. So we're just going to... 
can't get too far above it because then I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a shorty. So I'm just gently squeezing and really I've got the leaves kind of bent on that edge. I don't want that. And I'm taking it all the way to the edges because you want to get your edges. When you're doing this, make sure you're covering your edges too, but without causing the resin to spill over if you can help it. I mean, sometimes you will get where it will drip over the edge and that's not a huge problem but you do want to prevent that if you can um, and if it is dripping take a paper towel and go over your edges not the top but just the edges to soak up some of that extra resin that you've put on there that just means you put too much resin over the top and it needs somewhere to go and resin will find the path of re least resistance and so it will go over those edges if you've got too much of it. So there we go. This is the big one. We're going to put that under our light. And I'm going to let this one sit under the light a little bit more. I generally like to put it under for two, two sessions. And this stays on for about a minute and we're gonna go ahead next and we're gonna just go ahead and do the other butterfly and then we'll do the fairies and put them on the butterflies Part of me feels like I kind of want to just glue this on here before I resin it. But then the other side of me wants to put her on kind of separately. So, because I want her to kind of be raised up a little bit. So I think, because I think that'll look really cool. Um, okay, I'm going to put that one under there for just a second longer. And we're going to go ahead very quickly. I'm going to resin over these two, these two pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got these two um, resined for the first time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and go back over these blue ones and I'm going to glitter, use glass glitter on this side, just where the flowers are on this side. Um, let's, let's bring you guys down just a little bit here so you can see really well what I'm doing here. Okay. So, again, we're just going to take and do a generous helping of resin because we want this butterfly to be sturdy and I want a kind of a heavier, heavier butterfly here. I don't want it to be super thin. And this one I want to kind of give a little bit more of a 3D effect. I'm hoping I'm going to get that with what I'm going to do. We'll see. I'm testing the waters here today, you guys. <laughs> now these wings did bend up just slightly, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Because I can still kind of adjust them a little bit. And if they don't adjust much, they're not bent enough that it bothers me. Okay. So there's our resin. Now we're going to take this. I'm going to hold it on this side. And I'm just going to sprinkle this glass glitter over the side with the flowers on it. And this really gives it a really beautiful sparkle and it just is gorgeous. Not putting too much on there. I don't want to cover up those flowers so much that you can't tell they're flowers. So we want to be careful 
not to put too, too much glass glitter on. We have a tendency to want all that sparkle and sometimes you can kind of overdo it. So I'm going to pop this under the lamp and now we're going to do the smaller one. And we're going to put some glass glitter on the uh, more vintagey one as well. So I'm just I'm going to hold this up a little bit here. Okay, and I think I need to close my door because the TV is a little bit loud and I don't want that to overtake my my video here but let me get this on here first and then I will go do that so yeah that's very loud I just now noticed my husband's in there watching TV so I think he's watching some videos Anyway, let's get this on here. I think for right now I'm talking loud enough. And then here we've got our glass glitter. We're just going to put that over the top just like that. We've got that beautiful sparkle. And then I'm tapping the edges so that the glass glitter isn't hanging over. If it dries and you end up finding a couple of pieces that are, you can just snap those right off. So it's not a big deal. And we'll put that one under the light and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got these um, last two that are curing. They've got the diamond dust on them. We've completed these two with the diamond dust. You can see that gorgeous, gorgeous sparkle on those. And so now we're going to do, uh, we're going to resin the center of this bottom one first on both, uh, both butterflies. And then we're going to place our fairy on the smaller butterflies and put everything together. So, but right now I just want to make sure that these are good and cured here and ready to work on. So let's put the smaller ones aside here. And we've got our two big butterflies. And we're just going to resin just the center where the body is. And this is just to provide strength on that bottom butterfly. So this just takes a second to put that little strip of resin. And now by doing this the way that we did it, we prevented the wings from curling up too much. So this is why I do the body separately. So we'll just get those resined and ready to go. And I think I'm going to go, I'm, I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to resin, I'm going to do the bodies on the smaller ones because I, what I want to do is I do want to um, bend the wings up on the smaller ones so that they look like they're sort of in flight and then I will put my fairies on them um, so that when I do and this one looks like it got resined in the middle and that's not what I wanted to happen but we're going to be really gentle and sort of bend this one up like that not too far, we don't want to disturb it too much, but yeah, I did get a little bit of resin on the body on that one. But that's alright, because it's still bending and it'll, I'll be able to put the resin on and it'll hold in that position. So we didn't go too far on that. Okay, so these two are, the bigger ones are ready. So now we're just going to take, and the way that I do this is I tip up my, whoops, I tip up my blue light my UV light. Put the resin in the center here. Just a touch. Turn that on and I'm gonna bend the butterfly up slightly and I'm just gonna hold it there by the lights so that it gets um, a good cure so that it doesn't fold back down. 
and that one's ready to just sit. I've got it cured enough that it's going to stay in place. And so now I'm just going to put some resin on the smaller blue butterfly and I'm going to hold that folded slightly up. I'm going to hold that under the light until it gets cured enough that it will sit in place to finish curing. So you can see it's bent and it's it's ready to, to finish the process. So I'm just going to flip the light back down and we're almost done you guys. Well with this part. I'm thinking I want to try and embellish it just a little bit further but we'll see. We shall see. I've got a couple of things over here. I've just got a few little paper roses. I've got this with uh, these copper sequins that I thought was kind of pretty and I am going to put some antennas on our little fairies our butterfly fairies so I did cut out some antennas already and we'll be ready to go almost done I'm sorry, I've got makeup and everything on these gloves because I I end up touching my face and touching other things and so they get they get kind of icky, but that's okay. Not gonna hurt our butterflies. Okay, so first let's go ahead, we'll do this one. Have a little piece of glass going up over that and I will check the edges of these when I'm done just to make sure I don't have little bits of glass that might cut somebody. So this fairy is going to go on the small butterfly. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that she is down in the center like that and then her arms will just touch the edges of the butterfly. But I want to make sure I get her in just the right position. So I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to put a dot of hot glue right in the center here. And I'm going to glue her body down. That way I don't have to worry about where she's going to go. And then as far as the arms go, we will, we will just get those to go down with the resin. So we are going to resin her. And you guys, I've not done this before with these little fairies, so bear with me. I'm hoping that this comes out awesome. But it could be a complete fail. <laughs> so, but let's hope not. I don't think so. I think it's going to be great. And I'm going to let this resin kind of fall right down behind her as well. And do her arms. And I want to get a little bit of resin on her arms in the back side because I'm going to take a toothpick here and I'm going to press that arm down and hope that it stays down because the other arm is down. There we go. And I'm just going to hold her under that light for just a minute until I know she's started to cure and then I don't have to worry about it too much. And then if I need to add some more resin here or there, I can do that. And we might as well put our fairy onto this one as well. So uh, first things first, I'm going to put a little glue on her body. And I'm going to pop her down in the center of the butterfly. Whoops. I guess she didn't touch right there. <laughs> okay. And that looks good. And let's see. I think I'm going to touch her little 
fingertips with a dot of glue and press it down. That way I don't have to worry about it popping up during the process. And nobody's going to see that glue because I've just gotten just the ever so slight amount just barely touched the hand and laid it down on the butterfly just like that. Okay, so we're good there. Except for the glue that's stuck to my glove. Okay. So, there she is. Now let's go ahead and we're going to resin her on this one. feel like on this side I'm going to have to put some more resin on this wing because I kind of went overboard on the, the arm. And if I don't do this, it's just going to look lumpy around her arm and we don't want that. And this will just kind of even everything out. So, let's get this under here real quick. And I really think these are going to be gorgeous. I, I thought this was just a tremendous idea with putting these little fairies on these. And I liked it on the other butterfly. I just didn't care for that butterfly as much. And maybe it would be just as beautiful. I don't know. But that's why I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave her on those other two butterflies. And I'm going to do another one on just that, that butterfly. And let's put this back under there for just a minute. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resin these antennas on the fairies. If I can, I think I'm going to resin them. If I can't, I will just glue them on the back of... Um, the fairy's head, but I am going to take off my gloves because this is a more intricate area to work with, and I want to make sure that I do it correctly. So I would just take this and I'm going to lay it backwards. I'm going to take two of these little antennas here, and I just left two little balls, and these came off of my string of. Um, silver pearls that I got from my friend um, Kim and we're going to try and hold these together this is the hard part because I have to hold the resin well no I don't let's get some resin on the back of her head right there just a dot but I do have to, to put these on there at the same time and then I have to hold them and put the um, lamp, the UV lamp over the top to get it started curing, but I have to make sure these stay in place whilst I do that. So let's do this. I'm just going to hold that there, hold that there, hold that there, and pray that it starts to cure very quickly and I can let go. And I think these are going to look really cute with those um, antenna on them. She had, um, you can see in this picture, she has antennas, but they are way, way, way too thin to be able to cut out and leave on there. So I had to come up with something different, and I like using these as antennas because they always come out so cute. So there's that one, and it looks really, really cute with the antennas on there. And once she, we get her all together, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And so let's do this one. First, a little bit of resin on the back of her head. 
just like that, just a, a dollop. And we're going to hold these together just like that and put the light on. And it only takes a few seconds for it to actually cure enough that you can remove your hands. But if you do like I just did and you lose your grip on it, it's not a good thing but I got it back in place so what I will do is I'll put another dot of resin on the back side if I need to this one's fine but I may need to do that on this one because it's not um, it may not have enough so we're just gonna go like this put a dot and put that light back on there and I'm gonna set this under the light again for a minute because I feel like it didn't get enough time to cure that second wing. Remember I put extra resin on that blue one um, because of the arm of the fairy. So we want to make sure that everything is good and cured. Like these are perfect. There's no stickiness, no nothing. And they're all going to go back under the light one more time because we are going to put these together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put resin right here along the body of the butterfly and just enough so that it kind of comes over the edges. I'm going to turn my lamp on and I've got it, you can see I've got my lamp sort of flipped up I'm going to hold this under there because that lamp needs to get between the wings. It, if it can't see the resin or if the resin is not being um, touched by the light, it will not cure. So we have to get it just enough so that we can then lift it up and have that light shining right through those wings to cure the resin that's that's down under here so the resin that's under here it, it it's not going to the light is not going to get to it real well while it's laying down but that's the only way to start putting them together that's why I flip this up and then I flip my butterfly up like this and just set it between those lights because those lights are now going through the middle of that and it's getting good contact and then I'm going to pop it on again and I'm going to put resin on the back side of this butterfly just like that just down the entire middle and we're gonna lay her right there for just a minute and see if we can get that light to cure part of that resin it takes a minute so be patient and it should be ready not quite not quite and the sooner I can pop it up the better and there we go so this one is pretty much done and ready to go but look at how gorgeous that is you guys oh my goodness I love it I thought that these were going to be a really great uh, project and I knew I, I really kind of figured you guys would enjoy this one because it's something different something I haven't done I mean I've done the butterflies obviously but to do them with these little fairies in the middle I haven't done anything like that and I thought it was a really good idea something something different um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this um, tutorial and I know some of you have bought resin and are, a, a couple of you have actually uh, sent me pictures of butterflies that you've made um, using your resin and I appreciate that. I love, 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 love getting pictures um, of people's projects. So if you're making some of these things that I'm doing tutorials on, please feel free to um, PM me your um, images, your pictures 
and things like that because I do love seeing them. I really want to get better about actually posting some of my subscribers um, artwork on my channel on my videos and putting them at the end. I just get too impatient and so sometimes well, sometimes I usually forget to do it and I don't like that I do that um, because I really would like to show some of the the things that you guys are doing. I'm debating on whether I'm going to embellish this so just give me a second here you guys. I thought maybe what I could do is put some flowers on the under side instead of on top just to to give it some some zing. That's too big. Maybe that one will work. No, that's too big too. So let's just use a couple of smaller flowers, maybe under each wing like that. I think that looks really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's get this out of the way and move these over. I'm going to go ahead and add some flowers here. And just like that, we will have a beautifully embellished butterfly fairy. How cool is that? I love fairies and I love butterflies. All right. And you guys are keeping me on my toes. I've got to constantly be coming up with new ideas. So <laughs> thank you for, for helping me to come up with or for, for pushing me to come up with new ideas and things that um, you guys will enjoy seeing. So I've got these teeny, 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 tiny flowers and things that I got from Kiki's. And I think I'm going to add a couple of these to the fairy. I just remembered I had these and they're so beautiful and they're so tiny and so delicate. Debbie made these little flowers, I think, and they're just so pretty. And I think they will be a nice addition to this fairy, both of the fairies. And I've got some blue flowers, at least one blue flower here for the blue one. But we've got blue and white, so that's okay. Um, my dog is playing with it. Come on, Clo Clo. Come on. There she comes. Come on. Come on, Chloe. You can come in. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually resin these flowers on here. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of resin right here across her waist. And I'm going to drop a couple of these flowers right here. She's got flowers on her dress right here already. And I think these will just add to the beauty of that. Uh-oh. This one has something on it. There we go. There. I think those and maybe, I know I have a couple of uh, crystals here from the ones that Kim sent me. Chloe, stop. Stop. Now my dog's going crazy and she's going to make noise she can't get the door open. <laughs> I'll let her in in a minute. Okay, I think that's perfect. I'm going to put that under the lamp. We're going to cure it and we're going to do this one. Let me let my dog in real quick, you guys. Okay, um, so now let's just put some on this little blue one here. Um, I'm sorry if you guys hear the clip pitter-patter of little doggy feet here. My dog is 
kind of wandering around trying to find her place. Okay, and I got these little rhinestones. I forgot those were in here. Okay, so let's put a dot of resin again. Right at her waist. And we'll add a blue flower. Right there. And how about a how about this one? This is a pretty sparkly flower. There. And then maybe if I can get these rhinestones to land the right direction couple of these. That one landed okay. Actually, I think I only need one. One will cover it just fine, but I do feel like I need to take a toothpick and I need to move these down a little bit because they're right at her breast line and it kind of doesn't look right. There we go. Okay. All right, and let me put that one under the lamp. So here's this one. She's got her little flowers in the middle and a little rhinestone crystal there. And her little flowers. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I love it. I love it. I'm so glad that I was able to come up with this idea and make it make it happen. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't my idea at all. It was a picture that created the the imagination to kind of go wild. I don't want to waste a single one of these little teeny flowers and stuff. I just love these things. So I'm trying to make sure I get them all up and get them back into the container. And it's not that easy. They're not easy to pick up. Okay, there we go. Okay, and there is our gorgeous blue fairy with her flowers around her waist. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh my goodness. I love these, and I love the antennas. I think they really kind of make it look cool. And that's what our fairy actually looks like. If I can get her close enough to the camera for you guys to see her, that's what she looks like. Beautiful dress. And then here is this one. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I'm so, <clears throat> so super excited. I'm going to put these on my little piece of paper here so you can see them maybe a little bit better. And there we have it. So that's our tutorial for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. These little girls will be going into my Etsy shop um, and uh, they will be for sale. So I will try and get that those listings together and make them happen before I post this video. Oh, actually wait, ah, oh, I forgot something. I do it every single time, you guys. I wanted to see if I put a little piece of this sequin or two actually I want to put a couple of pieces of it kind of coming off the edge here by the flowers I wish I had thought of this sooner because I would have put them underneath the flowers yeah that looks really pretty and I'm just gonna glue these on here so that it oh I need to cut two of them off 
So let's get the other one cut off real quick because I do want two hanging from it. So there we go. And very quickly pop both of those down. flower over it. Okay. Okay, that looks really pretty. Get the glue off of there. And let me see. I don't know. I don't know if this will look good with the... Oh, I didn't even embellish the blue flower very much. I was going to put some flowers just on this side. I think I will do that real quick before I let you guys go. Yeah, I think I, I think I will put a little bit of this on this one too. I think it'll look really pretty. Oops. Trying to clip my fingernail. Okay. So we've got two more here. This will be very quick, you guys. I'm also going to put a couple of flowers in here on this one. That's too big. Just a couple of little flowers on the left side here is all I'm going to do. Just like that. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so I think I'm going to go blue, white, blue. So we'll put that one in first. And the white one in second, making sure I get it so that it faces outwards. And another blue one. In the bottom section, right there in the middle. Okay, so that's that. Now let's put... Do I want to put these over here on this side? Or do I want them on this side? Let's see. No, I think they're going to go on this side. Okay. So let me just get some glue in here. And hopefully I can get these down before the glue sets. Yes. Did it. There we go. Okay. So there we go. Now we're actually finished. Okay, you guys. So those are my beautiful fairy butterflies. And um, I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll make some comments down below. I really could use your comments, you guys. It really, really does help my channel. It helps. YouTube to get me in the right algorithm so that I'm getting seen by more people and those thumbs up are everything you guys and good news I reached eight over 8,000 subscribers so it's about time for a giveaway so I will be working on a giveaway for my 8,000 subscriber mark and um, we'll see what I can come up with to give away for that um, so Everybody, thank you again. Thank you for, um, you know, encouraging me to work so hard to come up with new projects and ideas for you. Um, and I hope you guys are really enjoying these videos because I really do enjoy making them. And um, tell your friends, tell your family, share my videos. That really, really helps me a lot. Um, even share them on your Pinterest accounts. If you have Pinterest, share my videos there. I, I, anywhere you can share them, on your Instagram um, accounts, on Facebook, uh, wherever you can find to share them. Please share these videos. Get me out there to more people. And um, I will continue making videos and hopefully making things that you guys enjoy seeing. So thanks a lot, you guys. 
stay safe, stay well. God bless you all, and I will see you in the next video. God bless, and stay tuned for pictures at the back end. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.